Have you ever met someone who was absolutely confident in their opinion, even though they were clearly wrong? That might be the Dunning-Kruger effect in action. Let's break down what it is, where it came from, and why it's surprisingly common in our daily lives. The Dunning-Kruger effect is a psychological phenomenon where people with low ability or knowledge in a subject tend to overestimate their competence. In simple terms, the less you know, the more you think you know. And the more you actually know, the more likely you are to doubt yourself. This effect was first studied in 1999 by psychologists David Dunning and Justin Kruger at Cornell University. Their study involved participants taking tests in logic, grammar, and humor. The people who performed the worst thought they did the best. Meanwhile, those who scored highest often underestimated themselves. But where does this overconfidence come from? It turns out, lacking skill in a subject can also mean lacking the insight to recognize that lack. So someone with little experience might assume something is easy because they can't yet see how complex it really is. Think of it like this. A person who's never cooked before might think becoming a chef is easy. But a real chef knows how much knowledge, timing, and skill is required, so they stay humble. Incompetence can create a kind of double blind. You don't know enough to know you don't know. At the same time, the Dunning-Kruger effect has a flip side. People who are truly skilled often downplay their abilities, assuming that if something is easy for them, it must be easy for others too. That's called the imposter syndrome effect, and it's surprisingly common among high achievers. You've probably seen the Dunning-Kruger effect in action. On social media, when people argue boldly about complex science or history without real knowledge, in politics, when overconfidence leads to oversimplified solutions. Or even in your own workplace, where the loudest voice isn't always the most qualified. Fun facts. The term didn't exist before 1999. It was literally coined by Dunning and Kruger. The study was partially inspired by a man who robbed a bank with lemon juice on his face, thinking it would make him invisible to cameras. Studies show that confidence and competence don't always rise together. The effect has been observed across cultures, professions, and even among students and drivers. The curve of confidence versus knowledge is sometimes called Mount Stupid, a peak of arrogance before the realization hits. So how do we avoid the Dunning-Kruger trap? Stay curious, ask questions, be humble. And remember, true knowledge begins when you realize how much you still have to learn. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to at at Favio Fun Facts for more fascinating deep dives into the psychology behind how we think.